If you have any questions or comments, you can use this time to voice them. Professor Xu, I am astonished and also inspired by your lecture. I have a question. What if I take the regenerative nutrients without changing my eating habits? I find that your diet plan is mainly based on eating meats. But many people prefer a vegetarian diet now. Thank you. Even if you do not change your habits, the regenerative nutrients will also take effects. Actually, some of my club members also cannot follow the diet plan, but when they see the results of those people who follow our plan, they think, I'd better follow it. There are indeed differences between the ones who follow our plan and the ones who don't. However, we can still tell the difference before and after treatment, since the regenerative potential has been activated. You know, the regenerative cells do not only depend on the nutrients provided by many products, but also on the food you consume every single day. If your daily diet is not well organized, cells will not function well. For example, if you have so much fat when cells don't need that much, the result is that you will be uncomfortable and cells cannot function properly. But there is always a significant difference between someone who takes regenerative nutrients and someone who does not take regenerative nutrients. And there is also a difference between someone who follows the regenerative diet plan strictly and someone who does not follow it strictly. For example, one of our club members did not follow our diet plan strictly during the first two-year treatment. But after having taken all the elixirs and GICs I gave him for his Africa trip, his spirit and energy was much better than before. After coming back, he said he could barely live without my products. I told him it would have been more effective if he had followed my diet plan. He had chronic atrophic gastritis and gastrial ulcers with an alcohol drinking history of decades before treatment. Since then, he began to follow my plan strictly. Thus, he can always be excited by the improvements shown during his physical examination. So the answer is if you do not follow my diet plan strictly, you cannot achieve the best outcome. It's so simple. Dr. Xu, I really appreciate your detailed demonstration and also congratulations on your new achievement in regenerative medicine. We have known each other for more than 13 years. In the past 13 years, I have always been paying my attention to your every progress. You know, my majors are biochemistry and molecular biology, and I work in the biological pharmaceutical field. I still remember that 10 years ago, when you showed me your pictures, I was shocked. At that time, I told you that, if you can prove it in a scientific way, then any of your achievements can be the cover focus of science or nature. It's my honor to have witnessed your achievements in these years, and I am happy to see that my gastric ulcer was cured with your products. Now, all my family members are taking regenerative nutrients so they always want me to buy more your products whenever I come here. I am very pleased that you have made breakthroughs again. I want to know that if you want to expand your market to the rest of the world. We actually have always been talking about this topic, and I know you have also had a good plan to market this product globally, so that your product can not only benefit Chinese people, but also people around the world. I am now doing financial business, and your product is a very good option for investment. Do you have any plans for capital operation? Do you have any plans to bring your product to the world market? Yes, I do. One purpose of today's demonstration lecture is to attract your eyes as a capitalist or who is engaged in capital market. It will be very nice to see that some capitalists can join in to operate it. It is a golden chance to expand the market, but how does one expand it? It is really not my specialty. I operate my research career by the profits from Mebo ointment only. I really have no idea of how to expand the market. Maybe your guys can come work it out. Professor Xu, I am a journalist from International Daily News. From your lecture, we know that many diseases that cannot be cured by modern medicine can be eliminated by regenerative medicine. So I want to ask you, to what extent will regenerative medicine affect the current state of health care? Thank you. Healthcare has always been a big concern of the central government of China. What we can do in this field is to prevent diseases and help reduce disease occurrence to some extent. Our healthcare pressure will be reduced if premature aging of organs can be prevented. Professor Xu, firstly, thanks for your care during these years. I am one of your first batch of club members and have been taking GIC and Elixir for three and a half years. As for the efficiency, I have something to say according to my own experiences. I can shoot 20 yards further than before when playing golf, 
and my overall body status is also better than before. In addition, I just received a message from the club that my GI system is just the same as that of only a 30-year-old person according to gastrophysy. I am very happy about it. I don't even get colds anymore since I began to take regenerative nutrients. And my prostate gland also shrank. Furthermore, my memory is also much better than before. I can remember telephone numbers clearly by reading them only once. In other words, your achievement is really great, and it really can benefit human beings. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Professor Xu, I have two questions. First, I want to know how to control scar formation after deep and intensive trauma. This is the first one. And second, how do you transform old scar tissue into normal tissue through altering scar constitution or cell structure? Just now, I have told that trauma management has been classified as our routine treatment in our national medical network. We have more than 18,000 doctors who are doing this, and it is also a project which is promoted and popularized by Chinese Ministry of Health. Another issue is how we remove and change scars. For superficial scars, directly apply amiibo on them, and for deep ones, we need to drill some tiny holes. Since we cannot see them by our naked eye, we need to drill some holes by non-laser method to deliver the regenerative nutrients into the deep scar to activate somatic cells to transform into stem cells, and then to replace the scar cells. It is also from this study that we found regenerative nutrients can be delivered through blood circulation, and then internal organ aging may also be resolved. That's it. It's very simple. How long will it take? Scarring like that may take 50 days, generally speaking. Scar cells can be transformed into normal cells in 50 days, is that right? Yes, it will take 50 days, but different scars may take different lengths of time. Professor Xu, I am from Beijing Sports University. I have a question. In these years, I mainly engage in helping athletes recover from fatigue. During these years, I have taken care of some excellent national athletes. Then I find that there is one feature about them, which is they cannot balance between training and dieting. For example, some athletes in track and field, swimming, cycling, and rowing fields need a lot of energy and have to train continuously for a long time. After training, they have to eat meals even though they have no appetite at all. Because of this, their gastrointestinal system is generally not very good. In my experience of observing, there are at least around 100 athletes having GI problems. Many athletes had to retire due to their bad GI problems. They're supposed to be talented athletes, so I am very excited after your lecture. I hope we can have a chance later to discuss this in detail. I bet our country will win more medals in the Olympic Games if you can resolve this problem. I believe all of us are interested in my next question. We all know the case of Liu Xiang in 2008 Olympic Games. He gave up the competition just because of a little trauma. But what if you could have helped? We know Liu Xiang is very excellent, so we all pay attention to him. Actually, in our life, there are more talented athletes with greater potential to be famous but they are not due to injuries. So if your product can be used by sports teams, things would be... Just as I had mentioned above, we have obtained success in this field. In the case of a high official, his tendon was ruptured and couldn't be repaired with surgery. But finally, it was regenerated with our regenerative medicine. I mean, the next step is to... Our products do not contain any hormones, and it has been confirmed by the Olympic Committee. I have shown the pictures given by the committee. Regenerative nutrients do not contain any hormones. Even photohormones or zoohormones are excluded, so it is safe for all athletes and can help them perform better. I totally believe that there is no hormones in your product, but I'm thinking if you had been in touch with some athletes, you will find that they thought they are admirable when they win honors for our country. After that, they are not well taken care of. Our medical team doesn't have the ability to help because they can only do some massages but if your product is applied to athletes on the national team, let alone on other provincial level teams, it will surely boost the development of our sports. I am really looking forward for that. Thank you. Thanks. Professor Xu, thank you for your lecture. We are shocked by your outcomes. Here, I have two questions. First, do we have to take an individual physical examination and get cells individually? so that you can develop the product based on the results of the examination? Or does everyone eat the same product? This is the first question. The second question is, are the regenerative nutrients selling in the market as a kind of food 
medication, or any others. Have you obtained any approval of whether it can be popularized around the country or not? For example, can my drugstore sell this or not? The regenerative substance is not drug in any way. It has a different action model from a drug. Drugs have effect directly against some specific disease, but the regenerative substances is to nurture cells and are nutrients for cells. Once cells are fed with appropriate elements, the disease can be eliminated, but it is a cell's capacity, not ours. The points must be distinguished. Then you ask if the product is for each individual or for all people. At the beginning, they can take the same ordinary type. For example, in my club, the members are graded into different levels with the intervals of three years. That is, in the first three years, that's level one and then level two. There are a total of four grades. Initially, they take the ordinary type for the first level, and after three years treatment, they have the product based on red blood cell standards. Red blood cell standards is that normally red blood cell standards can only live for at most 120 days, but in our regenerative environment they can live for 180 days. We then work out a special nutrient spectrum under these conditions and develop the products for the second level. We get the products through in vitro somatic cells, culture model and nutrient spectrums. Then at the 10th year, the product we developed are eaten and based on stem cells, culture study and nutrient spectrum. It is useless to eat them earlier because our human body has not been ready to absorb them. This study has lasted for almost 10 years since 2001. We don't have the data for situations longer than 10 years yet, so at the beginning, the ordinary type is okay. When conditions reach to a certain situation, we can choose more refined designs and products. There is a process. Thank you, Professor Xu, and also Ms. Zhang, who introduced me to this product. I have benefited from your product. I used to have some problems in the gastrointestinal system and always had to take some drugs such as po-chai pills with me when I was on business trips. But all the symptoms just disappeared after taking regenerative nutrients for less than two years. Now I don't have to take GI medications anymore since I have benefited from your product. I also want to help one of my friends. The question today is for him. He suffers from terminal colon cancer and has undergone two surgeries, which resulted in abnormal abscess and unhealed wounds. So I want to know whether regenerative nutrients will take effect in this case. Thank you. Within a total of 346 terminal cancer patients studied in our clinical research, 15 patients were suffering from colon cancer. Nine of them still live until now. Anal delivery of regenerative nutrients is also effective and wound healing is really possible. It is my great honor to have a chance of attending this lecture, which has opened my mind. I have a question. I come from the Chinese Invention Association. As we all know, any new invention will face various resistance or attacks at the very beginning. Therefore, many techniques will not be accepted even after many, many years. There are many civil inventions among the ordinary people which cannot be accepted by the government and are even being attacked and persecuted. I want to know that since Professor Xu has done a great job in this field, what is the government authority's attitude or evaluation? including the so-called official academia in the medical field towards your great work or career. Though I dare not call your achievements as great as the great inventions, your work can be regarded to be innovative at least. Because more than 200 people have come afar here to listen to your report, so what are the attitudes or evaluations of our officials? We know there is a so-called classification as the insider and the outsider in this science field. The so-called insider is from the officials, academia, and personnel, while the outsiders is from the ordinary people. What do you think about this? What do they evaluate about your studies? You may choose not to answer the question if necessary. Thank you. I would be very glad to answer your questions. In my point of view, I am firstly a researcher, and I am focusing on my research. I do not care about any other things, but I must declare that my research has been supported by our central government. Otherwise, without the support and protection from central government, I may have been put into prison. In these years, I have done so many studies without worrying about outside disturbances. I develop my career in my way without caring about what others think. They do research in their ways and I do it in mine. This is my answer to your question. As for the regulations and how to carry them out, I have nothing to do with them, and I have spared no effort to care about them. Today, I just want to announce the achievements I have obtained, and I wish I can make more and more achievements in five years. We can create new things for human beings day by day. Professor Xu, as you have said just now, 
your achievements have attracted not only the domestic media's attention, but also some other academic media's overseas. But I just want to ask whether you have ever thought of applying for the Nobel Prize for your achievements. Thank you. The Nobel Prize is not given by applying. In 2004, the Swedish Television and Committee of Science and Technology, entrusted by the Nobel Prize Committee, had an interview with me. Since then, they had interviewed me almost every year. At that time, they asked me, how many Nobel Prizes do you think you will get with your achievements? I answered that I had never thought about that. Otherwise, I would have not achieved so much. I wish there are more applicable achievements and less theoretical things concerning the Nobel Prize. The scientific contribution of human beings does not lie in who gets any prize, but in what we can leave in history. That is my belief. Without it, I couldn't have gotten this far. You know, I have undergone many sufferings and sorrows, but I can still continue my study, which shows that our society is moving forward. Besides, there are more kinds of people in the world, and they find truly good things they would protect them. Sticking to the belief, I spare no effort to continue my way and depend on my own money. Though our company is not big, I have invested all my returns into my research. I have never asked for even one penny from the government. I still remember in 1990, Mebo burn ointment was promoted and popularized by the Ministry of Health as a national major program and was rewarded 10,000 RMB. I immediately sent the money back. 